doing? This is V Diamond in the Rough. How's your day going? Now I've just recorded my first part of Chatterday Saturday and to understand what that is you will need to actually continue watching from where, where I add in. But I need to add this in at the beginning because one of the things about, um, so what I've done with the uh, planning side of things, I'm planning for stuff to happen and trying to get up the schedule so you know what's coming. Um, now I have, today is Friday so I'm recording for Saturday Chatterday and the finance video that I put out, so Finance Friday, um, so that was out today. So what um, is Saturday Chatterday, so you will see it. And I did come up with a new one in, in that. But So what I'm looking at is Sunday is plan with me, but then I'll have Monday mail, Wednesday work it, Friday finance, and Saturday Chatterday. Now there was another one for Tuesday that I did work out, but uh, that is down the track. Um, you'll see me come up with that one when you watch, keep watching. But part of Chatterday, the idea was, um, so what I do enjoy is actually responding back to comments made on the other videos that I've posted. So what I want to do is in Chatterday, is actually chat to you about the comments. So, you know, I do my first Chatterday Saturday and bang, I forget to mention the comments and go through the comments. So smack bang right at the front of this, I am popping in these videos and I will say stay tuned for what else is going on on my channel. <laughs> But, um, so today is the 7th of August, so I'm doing this so that um, I do want to give the dates on these. The chatter days are very important because it is something that you can go, right at this, that was done on this day. You, you know how fresh it was, so you might find that some of the videos, um, you'll know that the, well, the chatter day is going to cover all the comments for the week. You will get a heart when I record Chatterday, so you will also see it being recorded. So um, the only time when a Chatterday won't be recorded on a Friday is if I'm on night shift, because that's a bit hard to record. Although it might be on Friday mornings. I might be able to record it Friday morning. Anyway, waffling. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> if you haven't joined me before, <laughs> I am Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and... Um, Thank you for joining me. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified. And uh, feel free to comment because I respond back to comments and I have done it previously when I was doing short weapon chats. But now I'm just going to do it once a week with and go through all the comments for all the videos that I have not responded to. Um, and as I work my way down, there will be a heart. So you will know that I have actually spoken about your comment on a charity video. So if I go back to the oldest one with a comment that I haven't discussed which was 2nd of August and that was my short whip and chat. Um, I was working on the geisha. Okay so now so from there it's uh, Shawana First comment in was from Shawana. And good chat tonight, got some work done, thanks. <laughs> it's good to see, it always helps. Um, Catherine Harper. Shop down in Rockingham Shopping Centre is selling diamond paintings. Brought one for $15, not bad, we'll post when finish. Oh cool, cool Cathy. Um, Anna Dion, good to see you, thanks for the chat. Always good to have a chat. Rachel Ray, lovely to work along with you. Now go make sure I haven't missed anything. <laughs> Hint, Rachel, if you're going to watch videos, there's a way, so I will, I get there and I binge watch. So what I do is I'll go to somebody I'm subscribed to and I go into their video and I hit play all and then I'll make sure that playlist is in order and then you can actually see if you've already watched it or not. <laughs> and you just let it auto run and play them all. You get through so many, so many, and I will say I have just signed up to um, what is it, the Google YouTube Prime or whatever it is. So I'm not getting ads, I'm seeing so much more. So um, you'll get there. 
I probably miss stuff from you. And by the way, Rachel, I watch one of your videos and I, they don't ship to Australia. So if you're watching this bit, they don't ship. I'm not happy. Anybody in Germany want to send me something? <laughs> okay, Gail. Gail, I've gotten the Bonanza Market newsletter for, newsletter for some time but haven't ordered anything yet. Be anxious to see when your opinion of them. the ending is perfect. I can clearly hear you now. Now, but Gail, I do mention you later on, but I've forgotten your name. Um, you will see that. That's good, good, good. Um, so that package, hang on, I'm just trying to look to see if I have it. That package is, it's now in Australia. Um, so that was shipped off 12th of June. So it's nearly two months ago that it was shipped off. So there you go. There's your speed of stuff getting to Australia at the moment. But yeah, so it, it is now in Australia. So it probably will be 12 month, uh, two, two months um, to get here. But it's not far away. It hasn't arrived yet. But keeping an eye on it. I've got the tracking up. Okay, so now Balladura. Nearly neighbours. Yes, we'll email. Love to catch up. Wow, really a small world. So if that's Fee from Oz. Now, Balladura is probably only a 15-minute drive from where I live. Maybe even less. So, um, Fee, send me the email. <laughs> we can always catch up somewhere for a coffee. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so then we go to the next one that I've put out. Now that was the short weapon chat on the 5th of August. Now that one, I was, what was I doing? I was uh, trying to figure out, I was talking and working my plan around and how I wanted to lay stuff out. So um, the, the conversation that happens in the background when you're, um, working on a planner or when you're working on a lot of stuff the conversations you have with yourself in the in the background is phenomenal um, and I will admit that I get there and I will replay so while I'm editing I will replay and my editing skills is not that good but I will say I edit for noises um, and I don't mean my noises I mean the dog I do try and cut out some of his noises, which is why I edit, because, yeah, later on in the video, you'll see why I need to edit out the dog. Um, so, yeah, Jane loves listening to Dribble and watch playing because it's inspiring you. <laughs> yeah, do you like to dribble? <laughs> Rachel, so I've got a few rows done on nephew's baby blanket listening to me, and be careful, I make you'll make my head inflate with talk like that. Seriously. Nothing can do that. You're too down to right earth. Um, please give Bo lots of cuddles for me. P.S. Loves the stickers. Cool. Anna Dion. Busy, busy lady. Um, Kathy is home on a Friday morning. So in a week's time. In a week's time is when I do the live draw. For uh, the custom. So yeah. You might find that if you've made a comment on that on that video, that there hasn't you have got a response from me, but I haven't said anything about anything. You've just gotten roses and flower, uh, gems and flowers, gems and roses. Um, yeah, I'm not putting any comments on there. Um, and yeah. Because it's not, it's for those that do listen. That's why I do it. So Fee from Oz again, go, get to watch you set up your planner. You know you're an enabling me to buy stickers, don't you? <laughs> I haven't buckled yet. Oh, you just wait. <laughs> I'll keep working on this. Keep working on this. Um, I mean, I'm having so much. I have a lot of fun with that planner, but it also makes me think about what am I doing with stuff? Um, it makes me... <laughs> Makes me realise how much I've time I spend sitting around doing craft stuff and but not doing anything. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I will say that I've got the planner and 
the the planner actually has made a difference to me in that I now plan out and go, okay, I need to get this done, this done, this done today. Um, and I make sure that those things that need to get done aren't all to do in this craft room. <laughs> so yeah, I'm starting to work in, into my plan, you know, stuff that I've been letting slide. Um, I suppose one of, one of those things that I've been letting slide was Bo and getting him, organising for him to be bathed. And it's actually putting it down on paper instead of just thinking it makes, makes a difference. I do share with you my planner. Um, a little bit further down. See what I mean? Mm, I thought I'd run out of stuff to talk about when I got to the end of that and I knew there was something missing. So what you're getting is this now before the end of it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, and then we go to, because I was really, I, I'm nervous about the um, putting out the budgeting side of things and the, like I, I just released the cash stuffing envelope cash cash stuffing cash envelope stuffing now um uh, hopefully you're watching this um tina because you know i've just responded back to tina about envelope stuffing or sinking funds it's actually called so sinking funds um if you've heard of it it's it's not an australian term and when i heard it first i went oh my god that doesn't sound good you know a sinking fund you know it's just you're drowning or whatever but it's the it's the reverse it's more that you put the money aside so that when the event happens you don't have to dive into your money to try and um, get it all you know to be able to pay a massive bill it's um, I got car registration due in November I normally pay it every three months <clears throat> but what I can do instead of doing three months so I just paid it for three months but then I've just gone, well, I need this much money in three months' time and then I can pay it for 12 months. So just putting a certain amount aside every every pay. Same as Christmas, same as I need to get new tyres for my car. So that's where I start the tyre fund, the uh, sinking fund. Um, but with that, when that sinking fund, when I've replaced my tyres, that then I will rename it and that will be car maintenance so that then I'll just continue to put money into that and... I will be able to go, right here, this car needs to be fixed or I need to have this done, I need to have a service done. Instead of going, I'll, I've got to get it serviced next week so I'll just make sure I don't spend that out of my pay or put it aside on the, you know, in that pay. This forward plans, so yeah. Uh, so I've just, you guys have seen, I've done two now. The first one I was... The first one I did without a budget, so I just went, I can put this much, this much, this much in. Um, didn't even think about it. Now, the second one that I did, which I've just released, was interesting because I'd done a budget. And then I went, but I want to put this amount of money in these ones. And what happened is, I know I need to put a certain amount in two of the envelopes to be able to reach my target. So... All the others I didn't put any money into. So it's like, because I'd actually done a budget and I actually allocated where money was going to go to. Um, yeah, yeah, that was um, a pre pretty interesting process to work my way through. Um, what else? So that was it. So yeah, that's, that's it's, it's actually uh, tends to work for firms. Um, a it's a business term, apparently. It comes from a business for, it's a business term so um yeah we'll see how that goes i think that explains it hopefully um tina not tina yeah it was tina tina got um she says she she understands it. so hopefully you're watching this tina and yes that that does explain it um yeah it's just a case of putting money away for a rainy day <laughs> but doing it and capturing it and putting it as part of your budget so yeah there we go I've now talked through all the comments that are I haven't responded to since the last time I did a comment went through comments so um, so now it is I will take you to the first video that I recorded where this should have been in there 
and um, I hope you will hang around for the next one because there's still some bits in there yet to comment on and you'll get to see I talk about what has happened over the last well nearly not quite a week but what's happened over the last um, few days uh, including yeah some interesting stuff so stay tuned for that and um, I'll say bye for now and see you in a second Hey Gems, how you doing? This is V, Diamond in the Rough. How's your day going? Okay, I've had a busy bit of a time lately, so settle in, grab a coffee, grab your craft, because this is not a short whip and chat. <laughs> so, oh my god, I've had such a day. It's been brilliant though. Um, so what I'm working on is uh, the leopard my own custom from diamond shop so links down below get in there now um we'll say if you're new to this channel um please hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up thumbs down and get tick the bell to be notified of um when i do an upload because i'm just starting to get myself organized well organized anyway <laughs> i'm working on it so um, I've been humming and harring and I've been doing short whip and chats and um, I'm actually over some previous emails of oh, emails over some previous um, a whip and chats and stuff that I've done I've, you know, I've been questioning what I'm doing with this channel and decided that I make a plan um, to start a schedule up you know do all of that stuff good stuff so, and then from there, it was, okay, now I've got to work out what I'm going to do, am I going to do, and I will say, it, like, I see so many other people, like, um, and yes, mine has come up with very similar, so you've got your mail Monday, which is standard, Finance Friday, and then this one, I thought I was going to call this Chatter Day, so basically you get a day of me just chatting, so because I'm going to start producing more videos without... Um, and the whip, short whipping chats will go. So I'll do a chat at a. <laughs> I thought that was appropriate. I like that sound. Um, so yeah, so what we're looking at is the... And now, what I'm looking at doing is, uh, in this channel I'm looking at doing Plan With Me to be Sunday. So you see my Monday to Sunday plan. Um, Monday will be mail because... Well, let's put it this way. I've had one, two, three, four deliveries in space, five deliveries in the space of two days. So I've got some mail coming through now. Um, <laughs> granted, we're get, I'm getting stuff that I ordered ages ago, uh, but I'm also getting stuff that I've ordered recently. So like the postal system seems like it might be catching up. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Um, and then of course so that's Monday and I don't know whether I might leave Tuesday alone and do with a do a Wednesday work it so Wednesday work it will be me working with something different well I say different doing something like so I do I do the resin I work with resin um, so the two-part epoxy the UV resin um, and a few other bits and people pieces I think um, one of it I might bring into possibly that being the budget one to say you know, I'm gonna work the budget but we'll see um, I'm looking at mainly just sticking with the craft on Wednesday for the work at Wednesday nothing on Thursday so I'm looking and I'll see how it goes straight up see how it goes I don't know how it's gonna go um, oh yeah work at Wednesday and then Thursday nothing so You'll get a plan with me, which is a Sunday, which shows what I'm doing for the week. You'll get a Monday mail, if I get mail. If I don't get mail, I'll put something else in there. Uh, work at Wednesday will be generally with resin. I might have to put in, I might, well, I might actually do some work on my blank custom, because that's definitely a work at. Um, and Friday, uh, Friday finance, so that will be the Friday fa fa bleh, Friday finance now that will be a combination of either 
budgeting envelope stuffing or a recap of the uh, fortnight or the month depends on how I go I have done um, I will say my my finance Friday has released which was my envelope stuffing which yeah quite interesting interesting process so yeah I'm not fully I was felt I felt very putting that so like I as you guys know or you gems know that I was start I started another channel I'm not going ahead with that it's just too too hard to try and manage the two channels yes Rachel Ray you were right but um it was really funny to actually because I've been talking with you the gems for a while now it's almost um like an exposure um yeah you know, like we, we share a lot well I share a lot but the finances is one thing there it's like oh and I do know members of my family <laughs> hey mum <laughs> do tend to watch my videos um, I might just have to tell my mum not to watch them I think my kids do too who knows boys if you watch leave a comment below let me know you're watching this um, yeah Nathan uh, I don't know whether he does or doesn't but I don't think he does um, so yeah so comments on what I'm doing what's going on what's going on for the week holy cow so I did three days two nights so Friday Saturday Sunday day shift and Monday Tuesday night shift um, life wise work wise um, <laughs> let's just say I, I told my acting supervisor that I was looking for another job <laughs> um, yeah there's been some stuff happening at work that's not really um, very motivational so we'll see what happens because our new supervisor <laughs> poor guy starts on our next day shift so which is Monday so got next day shift is so I go to next lot of work is Monday Tuesday day shift Wednesday Thursday night shift um, it's all around getting trained um, it's it's horrible it's painful um, but when you see people that get trained up before you do and they've been with the company half the time that you have and the only reason that you have you're not in the position to do it yourself is because the company um, short shifted you multiple times before so um, yeah so I basically spat the dummy and said okay I'm no longer training anybody for what happened I turned around and said I'm no longer training anybody I will sit here on this board here and I will do my time and I am next one up for training which I'm getting angry about it again already but that means it what it looks like is I won't be up won't be able to train for another nine months six to nine months before actually be nine months before I, I qualify for another board so or maybe even longer and that's not because I'm training and learning it it's because I have to wait now because they scheduled some things the way they did but yeah we'll see what happens see what Monday brings us and see what our one-on-ones when we have our first meetings with our boss, new boss how they go Cause, yeah because the poor guy's gonna get a bit of a grumpy me from <laughs> for a bit okay so what else is going on so that was that's work wise Nathan wise at the moment he's not talking to me <laughs> or I don't know whether it's, he's not talking to me he's not talking to me because of the way I spoke to him because of what he did yeah you know one of those situations um, he was working today on the car <laughs> and he wasn't getting power one of the one of his tools wasn't working so you know we could see so he was blaming the power source so like I was out there with him and I'm thought, well these are plugged in and you can see this one's working so it's obviously the equipment uh, 
no, nah, no. Nah. He looked at things a few times and I left him be. I'm going to turn that on just a bit. That's bright. That's only on one level of one. Um, yeah, so he, I, knew, I left him be. Um, I came out and he was still battling with it, trying to work out why it wasn't working. So I've come back inside. Well, turned around and said, well, I've got to go out. So um, I'll leave you to it. So I've gone inside to get changed. And I've just suddenly noticed that he's turned the power off to the house. Okay, so turn the power off to the house, at the meter box, turn it off. Off and on. And I've come out and said, what did you just do? Because I thought he'd actually blown a fuse or something, you know, tripped the circuit. Blown a fuse is an old phrase. I thought he'd tripped the circuit. And he goes, oh, no, no, just checking to make sure that, that the power is working itself. <laughs> You know, we're running things in the house on power and he still had to turn, he turned the main power off. <sighs> Guess who got pissed off at that? Um, so I turned around and I said, why didn't you say something? Oh, it was only for a little while. <laughs> and I said, and what about the stuff that I haven't saved on my computer? Because you've just reset my whole computer. You've just reset the internet. So whatever I've got on my computer that I'm working on, I think I may have lost because of what you've done. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't know. I said, well, <laughs> I'm dressed, I'm going out. And he goes, oh, where are you going? I told him. <laughs> I told him where I was going, straight up. And he goes, oh, I want to go here and I want to go there. And I was like, well, his car, because he's working on his car, he's got loose wires. So he was needing my car. So I went, oh, God. So I've come inside, finished getting dressed, and I've come out, and I said, well, you ready? <laughs> so now he's grumpy with me because he wasn't ready to go, and I wanted to go, so I went. And, oh, yeah. I don't know. Something happened there, and he's just not happy, and I think it's something. he's not getting something right with his car, and when his car's not right, he gets cranky. And mine, I get cranky when something when something happens to my computer. And when you've been editing a video and it's not saved, yeah. So that was today with Nathan. And yes, I've got to get used to Nathan being home three days in a row on weekends, because um, that's the way things are going to go from now on, apparently. <laughs> mm. Okay, so that's <laughs> that side of things. What else has happened? Okay, so if you've been looking, if you've seen the Instagram, you will see that a um, couple of things. One is I've done some resin work. So that is, I poured that today. That is setting, so that's going to take you know, like another 72 hours. Uh, no, it'll be 48 hours from now, maybe. Maybe, maybe a little bit less. 48 hours before I even think about putting my finger on it to test it. Um, I have removed all the tape. So yeah, I've been recording that. That's all all going. That's the video that will be up um, on Wednesday from Work at Wednesday. Now, I have another video that I've got and I want to put it up, but I don't know when. And it is a mail haul, but it's a Sophie and Toffee. So the question is, do I make that one a Toffee Tuesday? <laughs> uh, all, the, all the naming conventions that come through, that come through are quite interesting. But that actually sounds good, doesn't it? Toffee Tuesday. Hang on a second. Where's my pen? My little list. Yeah. Make a Toffee. Tuesday and therefore I will have to work on some Sophie and Toffee stuff um, okay so also yesterday stinky bumbo got washed so enjoy this little bit of video I'm gonna pop in a little bit of video of him getting washed 
didn't get much because it's a different dog washer to I've had what I've had previously. Uh, mind, it's been a while since I've had him washed professionally. But um, I cat went inside and I came out with my phone and said, oh, "I want to get, you know, I've got to get a picture of him." And so I got some, and she then she turns around and she goes, "You know, dogs behave so much better when they can't see their rightness." And I'm like, I've basically tucked tail and gone, okay. <laughs> but a little bit of footage of Bo being washed. <laughs> There you go. Hey, Bo. Um, usually five. Oh, five seconds of it. Our Bo hates being washed. He's a drowned rat, but he hates being washed. So what I did is after he was washed, I let him run around a little bit around the house. He didn't worry about much. Um, and then I grabbed his leg and took him for a walk. So for a, what was it, Thursday? Yeah, it was Thursday. We um, went for a walk in the park. So I'll share a little bit of that footage here so you can just see um, we have playgrounds where kids are playing again. So once upon a time, kids playing in playgrounds it used to frustrate me because of all the squealing and that, but no it's, it's actually a good thing to hear We're after walking around the park and there not being any kids being happy and enjoying themselves it's a big difference oh, so yeah so enjoy the walk i did a walk in the park with Bo. hey buddy winter It's still pretty here. Still this playground. Now we've got kids out playing again. Yeah, Bo. Come on. All you do is wig on things. Nobody wants to see that. Come on. Too much fun there, didn't you? Go on. Off you go. <laughs> All right. But yeah, it's a pretty area where we are. Watch those girls go past. There we go. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, what I have got is now you've seen my if you see my videos in my planner. Okay. So I'm starting to be able to track what I've done, what's happening, what I've recorded. Um, it's starting to look like I'm doing stuff. So hang on. So this is just just yesterday. So I recorded my envelope stuffing. I had um, Bo. I had an email from someone special. Um, just a few different things on here. Um, my, I got an order arrived from Simply Gilded. I got my glass tip pen. I got coin jar one of two. I didn't unbox that one. I actually wish I did. Um, today I got Sophie and Toffee Elves box and also got stuff from Copper Top Plants. Completed the resin box. I did unbox the Elves box. Um, Finance Friday, um, which is the envelope stuffing. So that's where we're at. So chatter day is what I want to have for saturday which is what i'm doing here now and then plan with me um but i do have a zoom meeting there and a 
don't forget I've got another zoom meeting there but yeah that's what it's starting to look like I, when I'm on night shift I just fill it full of the pictures and all these different things so yeah okay so that's that's the planning side of things this is a bit of a chat chat share um, next week's pretty black but it's called Howling Winter. I don't. I think I'm going to have to keep away from some of the dark ones. These ones are so much nicer and lighter. Okay, so what else is in the unboxing? So this is where the chatter day is where you get to see all sorts of different things. So what I have done is I'm going to talk about the resin and I did a serving board which you'll see on Wednesday. I did a trial run because what I did was I was using colours that I've not used before or not known how they work. Um, this is one piece of a four piece coaster set that you pour the resin mold. But I did this to try and see how it would look um, to try and see if I could get the colours that we were, we were after for the serving board. So I did the serving board. And I thought, oh, I need this much resin, you know, <laughs> this much resin in the cup. And I probably only need about that much resin. So what I did is I did the resin board and then I did a set of coasters. So I had four of these. So I did a set uh, and they're now currently setting. So when you see the resin board, it will also include these. So, um, but I used alcohol ink. So there is a white, uh, the white, there's a green and there's a blue. Um, when I did the, these pieces that I've got here, this, which is a test run, <laughs> thankfully I didn't capture it on camera, I was flaming it to get the bubbles out and the alcohol from the ink caught on fire. So I've just had this flame come up. It's like, oh shit, <laughs> excuse the language. <laughs> so that's something that I have done. Um, the next is, I haven't, I unboxed it. It's good when you have a desk and everything is at your at your reach. So this arrived today. Now this is the Sophie and Toffee Elves box. This is the August box. Um, I paid DHL freight for this. Um, so happy I did. So happy I did. Uh, I will say that you know this with COVID, DHL must be doing so much more in business. So. With what's in here, you will see the unboxing um, on my Toffee Tuesday. Uh, but what will happen is you'll see the unboxing, but what I'm waiting on, because I haven't done anything with it. Sorry, I've got ink under my nail. I've just spotted that. It is not blood. It is ink. Um, <laughs> mm, sorry. <laughs> um, I've messaged my son to find out, my eldest boy, to find out if I can talk to him about what's in this box because what's in this box is D&D &D dice moulds. Um, I will, hang on. I'm not going to show you what's in there because that's, that's a surprise. So I'm just going to try and show you. There we go. Just, just as a thing, if you like your Dungeons and Dragons, these are the polyhedral dice. Now there is all sorts of other stuff on the other side of this and there's also the premium stuff. But um, I'm waiting on my son to find out what colours he wants those dice because he plays D&D. But that Sophie and Toffee box, you get the dice, but as the premium add-on is actually a dice holder that you put magnets in and um, so the lid holds shut. And I am so excited about it. Just because I can make something for my son, um, I don't get to... I don't see him much um, and you know he's the one that just become a dad so you know he, he's giving me my first grandbaby <laughs> so you know I'm just kind of um, eager to to get it made but I can't do it until I know what what colors he would like I can do them clear and just do the the numbers I can paint them in a gold because um, they do include a gold paint but I'd like to know what colours he wants so that I can try and get it to suit him. Um, because he plays Dungeons and Dragons every week <laughs> in his small little country town. <laughs> Hello, Bob. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so yeah, that's the sofa and toffee. What else is going? Mm, okay, I'm gonna. Hopefully, I've been able to get it. Now, when I do my recordings, generally I let Bo walk in and out and make noise and deal with that. I did when I was doing the cash envelope stuff in recording that. I paused. I had to pause, but I kept recording. And when I was editing the video, I came across why I paused. I couldn't remember why I paused, but I could remember now. So I, what you're going to see on the screen is basically I'm just, I think you'll see my hands just stop. But listen to what's going on in the background because I'm going to have to move my dog's water bowl because, oh my gosh, I now have a really nice microphone that captures a lot and it is set that it captures um, directional sound so like my microphone is directly that way it's hang on it's there but up um, so it, although it does do stereo it does it's got condenser and all of that in it but whatever that means but um, at the setting at the moment is that it just projects so the microphone's here and it only picks up noise from here. Well, basically, Bo was that side by a couple of hundred metres. No, no, by about five metres. And it picked him up drinking. So have a listen. Mm. Sinking funds and cash envelopes, which means that when I, anything I purchase... Anything that I purchase is going to come out of the cash envelopes, which then stops me from doing online spending, which is one of my biggest issues. You will see here that what else is going on. So what else is going on is my younger son. Hello, Dion. <laughs> oh, so he is currently in South Australia. So we're in WA. We have zero community transmissions in our state. Um, which is yeah, it's it's a big deal to be able to say we have zero community transmissions. We do have some cases of COVID here. Um, oops, there we go. I knew I'd miss one. But those cases of COVID have been picked up while I've got a little tiny drill in there. Um, they're being picked up while the people are in quarantine, so they're being dealt with and, and managed that way. They're not, it's not a community spread. Um, yeah, they haven't gone out to the community and spread it around to everybody. I've got to really get that. So, which is a good thing. But what that means is if you leave the state, you have to apply for an exemption. Um, and what that exemption is, all that exemption does is it doesn't stop you from quarantining. That exemption just allows you to quarantine from home, to self-quarantine where you have the police rocking up on your door and knocking on there to make sure that you are there. Um, yeah. Now, in that, yeah, the A's, with that happening, um, you know, people, are being, people in WA are being responsible. We know of two cases where people haven't 
No, yeah, so I've heard of two people with, that have three actually. Um, one of them has gone to court and has copped a $5,000 fine. Uh, and I think he was also, he did four weeks jail time too as, as well uh, because he didn't quarantine properly. So <laughs> he ended up with four weeks jail time plus a $5,000 fine. So, you know, we do take note of hip pocket things. Um, there's two other people that have done the wrong thing and they're in the courts now, so wait and see what happens with them. But that being said, Dion's gone over to South Australia um, and, you know, he, he applied for an exemption. Um, <laughs> I just found out today that he didn't get the exemption because he didn't provide enough information. <laughs> So what that means, <laughs> he's gone to South Australia to visit a female. <laughs> um, and what I'm chuckling about is the fact that he's gone there for a week and I'm really happy he has, really happy he has. But to go over and see her for a week, he has to quarantine in a hotel for two weeks. So there's three weeks. He's had to take three weeks of leave, just over three weeks of leave, right? So he's taken three weeks. He has to quarantine for two weeks. And the la the chuckle that I've got is because he couldn't get the exemption, he has to pay for himself to quarantine for two weeks in a hotel. Two and a half grand to sit around is that wrong that I'm laughing at my son for that? I am really happy for him and what he's done. And, you know, he's, yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's a bit of a chuckle over the fact that he's gone over and it's going to cost him three weeks leave, two and a half grand, plus whatever the cost for him to go over and have fun over there as well. So, um, oh, yeah. But I have... I've been messaging him and he's really happy over there so um, if he's happy I'm happy so I, I just I just chuckle over the fact that he's got to pay two and a half grand when he gets back to, so that he can come back to the state is that wrong that is so wrong that I'm laughing at it but it it is funny it is funny it's his choice to go over then but anyway love you down <laughs> Oh, what else? Um, I think that's about it. There's not much more going on because I've been doing all these whipping chats and you tend to know what's going on in my life. Um, I will say if you've got any suggestions for anything happening, uh, let me know. If you've got any plan, anything where you could put a suggestion in for what I could do on days, like you know, Mail Monday, Finance Fridays, you know, all of that stuff. Toffee Tuesday. I think Toffee Tuesday is actually a good one. Um, so that was where I get into doing the planning side of things. Oh, budget. Okay, so can I laugh at myself here while I talk to you guys? So I did the budget, the cash envelope stuffing, uh, all well and good, and it's like I'm not spending money unless it's allocated for this and that. And then um, in the budget I did allow a certain amount of money for YouTube but I didn't put it as cash envelopes I left it electronically in my bank account so um, I should have taken it out in cash uh, because today although I could have used the cash that I had today it was like it was automatic of just getting the plastic card out and going Boing! although it was a debit card but it was still so easy just to do yet I'd gone into the shop I had my cash envelopes with me so yeah we'll see what happens there see what happens there oh but that's one of the reasons why I was going to the cash envelope system was so that I really watch my spending 
um, and saving and getting out of debt and all of that and yep yeah so I've got to learn and that handing over the cash is just so itty the Miko the budget mum she turns around and mentions that she said you know when you're handing over cash and you're actually seeing the cash going it's just so much um, harder I don't know whether you'd call it harder but um, you know it's harder to give it away because you're actually seeing something physically going you know, you're physically handing something over whereas when you're using the plastic card or you're ordering online it's just electronic you know if, you, if that makes sense um, yeah yeah because I actually did I did I went to my purse and went to grab the money out of the envelopes and said oh no I'll get it out of this account so, whoops <laughs> mm. so now I will need to get there and go okay I will have to have a certain amount in cash for what I class as YouTube spending um, I could have classed it as work actually because um, there's actually pens in that so I'll probably claim it on my tax and put it under work I will say we'll say um, I don't think I've categorized it in my transaction log yet um, what else what else is going on I think that's about it but it is definitely as a chatter day you did get a fair amount um, in I've just got to remember to share with you Bo in the bar <laughs> um, so he is now booked in for a it to be done once a month or every four weeks so uh, that coincides with when I'm not at work um, and she'll actually do his nails because that's something I can't do um, but she'll, his, she'll do his toenails she actually did a good job this time so she'll do you know she's she's pretty good um, yeah I think that's about it let me know how your week's going and um, Hopefully you'll enjoy just having, I don't know whether you'll, <laughs> I know there's quite a few enjoy my short whip and chat, so, um, and I, it's funny, I feel kind of odd bringing in the finance and the, the, the planning and the budgeting into, into the channel, because it is, it's, I feel like I've actually opened myself out pretty bare there, um, I don't know any other members of my family my side or Nathan's side whether they watch this but if if you do let me know that you, you're there watching <laughs> um, but yeah I think that's about it for now next time I do a whip and chat I'll probably be at least an hour long um, but I've just gotten used to covering so much in such a short time but you've been, been I've been keeping you up to date with what's going on anyway so um there anything else? I don't think there's anything else. I think we've covered it all. I'm just going to have a look at my desk. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. I've got nothing else that I'm working on. I'm just hanging, hanging to get onto those dice. <laughs> uh, my boy, he needs to message me back and tell me he's awake. So I can ring him. Um, or oh, he's well he's probably awake but you know we're doing something with Bob uh, yeah I think that's it and I waffled on again I'll get to the end of the video but here we go um, hang on just looking for any more A's let's see if I can get all the A's done I think I've got them Yep, looks like all the A's now. Yep, there is. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, Gems, I will say bye for now. Um, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me a comment. Any suggestions on what you'd like to see? Um, if you've seen my envelope stuffing, it wasn't... I'm not happy with the video in itself. But I wanted to get it out there so that I can get an opinion from you guys. Um, 
so yeah but let me know what you think of the videos that I've been that I've started to produce always always let me know what you think I think I had um, oh, I can't remember the name now I'm so sorry one of the ladies actually commented that my ending of the video was uh, the music at the end of the video was actually drowning out my last lot of rabbiting comments so I think I've got that adjusted now and hopefully that's great and please let me know if you're still here and listening that those outside those comments are still um, that the sound is better and fixed up um, I think that's about it so yeah guys thumbs up thumbs down comments that's already I've asked um, and if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and that good odd little bell so that you can be notified when I do an upload. And I will say bye for now.